The Ministry of Education has decided to leave the Dame Paulette Louisi Primary School closed until further notice. The closure is based on initial assessments after flash floods associated with downpours from a trough and a localized weather system besieged the north of the island on Sunday, November 6, 2022. Dame Paulette, which is situated in a low-lying flood-prone area, was affected by the flash floods. A few moments ago, I visited the Dame Paulette Primary School in Union and um, the school has been impacted by yesterday's weather system. Um, the damage is pretty extensive. Um, this is not me reporting what has been communicated to me by my technical people. But as I said, I was on the ground at the school and I was able to witness firsthand the extent of the damage. Um, furniture has been damaged. Um, books, charts and other instructional aid um, were destroyed. Students' records were also destroyed. And the perimeter fencing. Um, for that particular facility um, was flattened in, in some areas. So as we speak, there is a technical team from the Ministry of Infrastructure and also the plant and equipment team from the Ministry of Education. They are on site um, basically assessing the extent of the damage. The Education Ministry said that cleanup of the school began in earnest. Parents and guardians would be appraised of the reopening dates. But I'm very optimistic that by the end of today into tomorrow we will have a, a very thorough assessment done and we'll be able to speak in terms of dollars and cents the extent of the damage and from for, for us in the Ministry of Education I think we will also be in a position to begin to speak in terms of a timeline when students can be returned to the classroom. We have distributed a number of devices in the school system. We have the we have distributed more in the secondary school system than we would have in the primary school system. But I know that the Impulet Primary School, they had their own mobilization efforts to try and secure devices for their children. And so we have to look at the online platform as an alternative um, to in-class instruction. And if it means that as a ministry, we have to partner with the private sector to make devices available to students who do not have devices at the moment just to ensure um, the continuity of education. Instruction at other learning institutions were uninterrupted on Monday, November 7, 2022. I was joined at Dimpulet by the parliamentary representative for Grosile, the Honorable Kenson Kazame, who shoulders the ministerial portfolios of youth development and sports in our government. And it was very nice to see the minister being on the ground, basically trying to get for himself an appreciation of the extent to which the school which is situated in his constituency um, was impacted. There were also reports of damage at the Bexon Primary School. On my way to work from Denry, I, I did stop at Bexon. I can tell you that um, the damage was not very widespread to the extent that school is expected to continue as per normal this morning at the Bexon Primary School. In the case of Dimpolet, we had to make a decision from last night to ask parents to keep their children home because we would have gotten um, a, a, prelim a preliminary assessment um, from school personnel as well as some of our education officers on the ground. Um, the current secondary school was impacted to an extent, but at our management meeting last night, albeit virtually, um, management at the current secondary school did indicate to us that um, they would be in a position this morning to continue as per normal. I know Nemo had expressed initial interest in using the current secondary as a shelter for persons in the Grizzly constituency who would have been impacted. Um, but up to late last night, I think an alternative venue had been sought. The Ministry of Education advises that all St. Lucians stay prepared for any eventuality during the Atlantic hurricane season. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.